This is the hemodynamic management of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. There are first some pathophysiologic considerations for hokum. You have a dynamic left ventricular outflow tract gradient in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. There are some factors that contribute to a left ventricular outflow tract obstruction, specifically a systolic septal bulging, malposition of the anterior papillary muscle, and a hyperdynamic left ventricular contraction. The, hyper, the hemodynamic management involves keeping your preload and afterload high. Preload should be kept high by avoiding hypovolemia and replacing volume with crystalloids and albumin if necessary. Afterload can be kept high with alpha agonists like phenylephrine. You also want to make sure your heart rate isn't too fast. If you have too much tachycardia, you spend less time in diastole and you'll have less diastolic filling of the heart. And of course, that filling of the heart is what prevents the left ventricular outflow tract from collapsing in on itself, considering you have a large septum, considering this part is hypertrophic. Contractility management, you also want to avoid increasing contractility, so do not use ionotropes. During hypotension, again, you want to give IV fluids and vasoconstrictors, alpha vasoconstrictors, um, keeping that preload and afterload high, respectively. Again, you want to avoid ionotropes, vasodilators, and medications that increase your heart rate. And the reasons are explained here yet again.